Hi there. This is a short video to help you get set up. Before we get started, let's take some time to change your password. The password we give you is pretty forgettable and we want to make sure that you're able to get into your page hassle-free going forward. Click on the tab in the upper right hand corner and click profile. Here you will be able to enter in all of your profile information and change your password. Enter in the password that was included in your welcome email and the new password of your choosing and press save. Now let's head back to the home page. This is where you will be able to see all of your incoming and outgoing messages. On the right, you will see a list of all of your active conversations in chronological order. When you receive a new inbound message, it will go straight to the top of this list. Now let's go over notifications. You will be able to see all unread messages here in the unread tab. This tab makes it easy to find missed and unread messages in case any slip through the cracks when you have an influx of messages being received. You will also see a red dot next to any unread messages and receive live notifications on your desktop, much like iMessage or WhatsApp. Your browser will ask you if you'd like to allow browser notifications. This means that you'll be notified of new messages when working on other tasks. Now let's go over the contact info. If you click on one of these active conversations, you will be able to see the details of the contact, the message history, and any associated tags. To add a tag, you can either add them from this page by entering in the tag and clicking Add Tag, or you can manage the tags in the Reports page, which we'll go over later in this video. These tags make it easy for you to segment your target lists for the text alert feature. It is important to group your contacts by using tags in order to keep your lists organized. This is also the page where you can send two-way conversational texts with one contact. All you have to do is type in your message and click the Send button in the lower right-hand corner. You will also have the option to create templates and merge tags to make sure all of your texts are personalized and save you time. To add a template, simply type in your message and click Save As. Use merge tags to ensure that your templates are dynamic and personalized to the contact. For example, if you'd like to create a reusable and generic happy birthday template using the contact's first name, just click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, click on the first name merge tag and enter it in where you would like to see the contact's first name appear in the message. You can customize all of your templates as little or as much as you like using merge tags. It's a great way to save you time and make sure all of your texts are personal. Has your contact scheduled an appointment? Or do they have a birthday coming up? Click on the calendar button next to the contact's name to set up a scheduled message. Just add your message or select a template and choose your desired date for the message to go out. You can schedule messages for up to a year in advance. Now let's take a look at the contacts tab. This is where you will be able to add and manage all of your contacts. To add a contact, go ahead and click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and choose add contact. You can either add a single contact or upload a list of contacts from a CSV file with contacts from your computer, Gmail, or Outlook. This is nice for those that have long contact lists because it allows for a quick and painless upload of your entire list. Here you will also be able to search for any existing contacts. You can filter by tags, date, added, birthday, and location. To send a text alert to an unlimited number of contacts, head to the Text Alerts tab. Enter in your message or select a template and make sure all of your merge tags are where they need to be to ensure that your message is customized according to the contact. And finally, let's go to the Reports page. Here you will be able to manage your text alerts, see your credit usage and purchase history, schedule tasks, and manage all of your tags. In the text alerts tab, you will have a full list of all of the alerts you've sent out and you'll be able to filter by the date. In the credit usage tab here, you will be able to keep track of how many credits you've used and have a complete report by date. Did a client miss an appointment? Check the Scheduled Tasks report to see a full report of all of the past scheduled messages. This will allow you to make sure all of your personalized appointment reminders have been sent out. 
This is a great way to make sure that all of the intended scheduled messages have been scheduled and are ready to go. Lastly, you'll be able to see a list of all of your existing tags along with how many contacts are associated with that tag. This is where you can create new tags and manage and segment your contact list. You will also be able to set up keywords for auto replies. To do this, you will create a tag and then under the keyword auto reply, you will be able to choose phrases, words, or numbers that correspond to that tag that will automate an auto response to whomever sent the message with the designated word or phrase. If you receive a keyword associated with an auto reply, that keyword will automatically be added to the contact that sent the message. Well, there you have it. That's everything that you need to know to get started. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out.